Hey there, it's Pastor Joe. It's time for our Tuesday Eve lesson. It's really a little bit past time. I usually do these in the morning, a little late in the afternoon. It's been a very busy week this week as we get ready for what we do every year with our staff. We do an annual staff retreat. Many times we take the pastors and their wives because the wives are so involved in the intricate ministries of the church, but this year it's just taking the, the staff uh, essentials, the, the, the males of the herd, and discussing, well, we discuss a lot as we make preparations for the fall, winter, and then into spring and, and the fall of next year. Uh, someone asked, well, what do you guys do when you do these staff retreats? Well, just, I, I, this is a workbook that, that's, that I prepare every year for our Believers Fellowship uh, annual staff retreat where there's ministry lessons in it, there's items to discuss, there's, uh, well, let me just read you on the list, items for discussion, uh, text ministry for the whole church, uh, leadership dinner meetings in August, uh, uh, next evangelistic initiatives, uh, back to church Sunday coming up in September, uh, retreat schedules, dates and speakers, countdown calendars for the ministry leaders, prayer expansion of the ho uh, and of hope ministries and pray and go for both campuses, student ministries, uh, the fall of 2021 20 spring event, special days, Christmas, Easter, uh, our ministries and beliefs, what we'll be doing in 2021 and 22, uh, the Cuba, how that going to affect the, the big revolutionary things that are happening in Cuba on the streets, how's that going to affect our ministries, uh, or even going to di discuss uh, the new carry laws and gun laws that, that are going to affect in September, uh, journey classes, new members classes, holiday schedules, uh, uh, gun carry laws, who's ready for serving, ideas for the online and web uh, ministry. So there's just a lot that we, we, we deal with and preparing calendars and, you know, so we want to have everything in order so that we get with our leaders in September, August, and our big leadership dinner that we have for all the ministry people doing ministry within the fellowship. We're pretty much uh, geared up for the, for the year to come. So we ask for your prayers. We'll be leaving on Sunday the 25th and be gone to uh, Thursday morning with our staff retreats. We go down to uh, Palacios, Texas to meet there and begin all this prayer and preparations. We do a lot of praying. We do a lot of preparing. We do a lot of just open discussion, uh, uh, seeking God's face. So pray for us as we go. Another thing we've been working on and you've already been told about is the annual marriage retreat. If you haven't got a hold of one of these brochures, you need to get a hold of it and get signed up. We have close to 20 people already signed up. We have like 36 to 40 sites, a uh, uh, room safe for, for couples. So uh, the, uh, it's $2.99 per couple. Uh, that's if you get in a hold of the early bird and that ends like here, uh, August 22nd. So you have about a month to get that signed up for if you haven't signed up yet. If you get signed up after that, it's $349, but it's at the Y.O. Ranch Hotel and Resort in Kerrville, Texas. We've been there once before. It was awesome. Facilities were off. The rooms were great. The food is great. So uh, all the information is here. But you do, if you want to get a hold of the early bird discount, the $299 value, you have to put $100 deposit up. All right, and there's a, there's a form in here. You can do this online, so I'd encourage you not to let it go because this will fill up fast. Like I so said, we've already about halfway full. We haven't hardly mentioned it, I think, but two two pulpit announcements is all we've ever made in this. So get a hold of your brochure or go online and get it there. Get signed up. It's going to be fun. We're going to be talking about a lot of things relating to marriage. Everything from the seasons of marriage, the passages that a, that a, that a couple goes through as they stay married over the years versus things that will help you in your mid-years, your, uh, your relationship, communications, all this stuff that, uh, that will really grease the wheels, so to say. Keep your marriage running fine-tuned. So you don't want to miss that. Sunday was awesome. It's spectacular. It's our, uh, each Sunday, I see a few more people come back, and uh, a couple more of y'all still need to get back. I am praying for you. I miss you. Uh, we all miss you just because I'm not calling you regularly. Uh, I, you know, uh, doesn't mean I don't miss you or don't think of you, but we do. Uh, we do. Hey, we're going forward. I know there's new strains of COVID and all that, but we don't operate in fear. We didn't operate in fear before. We're not going to operate in fear now. Come be a part of what God's doing. He's a big enough God to take care of you no matter what. Amen. I believe in the sovereignty of God. So come be a part of that as well. Uh, we have some distribution days for clothing and school supplies coming up at both campuses. Check the check our website and get those dates and information down as well. Share those with other people. Most importantly, this Sunday, we're going to be on the third and the final sermon dealing with the overflow. In other words, Jesus said, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we'll be talking about, and most specifically, we're going to be talking about something that's it's, it probably is, should be offered in every college and university as a course and probably every school in the country on how to deal with anger. 
as we talk about our words and what we say to each other, this is where most of us get in trouble with our words. It's usually in the context of, well, usually two contexts. One is gossiping, and the other has to do we get angry. When we get upset, we say things we shouldn't say, say things we wouldn't normally say. So you want to you wanna really get focused on how to deal with that in regard to your to your speech. You do not want to miss Sunday services. Uh, it's, it's some stuff, some biblical principles that are transforming, will transform your life especially if you find yourself getting these situations. So I'm praying you'll be with us Sunday. Bring someone with you. It's a great Sunday to bring some friends. Maybe you have some family members who struggle with this. Let them know about it. Uh, if you have people who've been honest with you about this issue, you know, I've struggled with anger or words. Bring them, all right? We all know people. We all have to do, deal with that, and we deal with our own lives as well. So it's a Sunday you really, you really should be in worship with us. You'll be glad you came. Looking forward to seeing you then. I love you. I'm praying for you. Pray pray for us, your staff, because we leave right after the services on Sunday morning. And got to, to lift us up at, to the Lord in prayer while we're praying for you and working for you. God bless you. I love you.